It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere we go. Take a look at the five and ten. Do -do 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 -ba -do. I can't remember the words, but Merry Christmas anyway. Merry Christmas, everyone. It is Christmas Eve, and I wanted to wear something uber Christmassy. This is actually this really cool vintage wool blanket that I found in Vancouver when I went to see Sonata with Untamed Perfumes um, a year ago. Uh, there was this cool little market and it's this vintage blanket that they've made into a cloak. So it's perfect for today because it's Christmassy. I wear this whenever I can in the winter because I just love the colors. But anyway, it's uber festive. Yay! And so um, I thought I would share with you the fragrances that I just cannot stop wearing, cannot stop sniffing. They are amazing and I want to tell you all about them. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And let's get into this. The first one that I want to start with, I thought I would start with kind of the most pricey and just go down to the least expensive this time uh, just for something different to do. So I've got one niche in this list and it is Mula Mula by Byron Parfums. Now this is a delicious kind of sweet, fruity caramel concoction. So it has peach, there's some strawberry, some raspberry. For me, it reads as more of a strawberry mixed with caramel. This has some uh, ginger in it. So there's a little bit of spiciness. There's vanilla, there's oud. I don't really pick up the oud, but there is a bit of spicy wood in here, but it's way down in the dry down. And it's mainly what you're getting is this scrumptious kind of uh, sweet strawberry mixed with caramels and then a slight hint of spiciness from the wood. So this one is amazing. So is the Chronic. Um, I think I like Mula Mula and the Chronic better than the Rouge Extreme versions of each one of them. But honestly, Byron Parfums has so many really cool ones. So there's another one called the Pirate Point Two. And um, that one has, I think there's melon in that one. Really interesting fragrance. Or is that... That might be the dragon one. In any case, uh, I like so many of these. They're all really great. And the Mula Mula and Chronic are a little bit more kind of fruity-esque. There's now a Mula Mula uh, Extreme that has even more caramel, which I'm really curious about. I think it would be delicious. Uh, but, you know, if you want an energizing burst of fruit that smells sweet and decadent, this one's great. This one cuts through the cold, so you're not going to lose it in the heat. Although I think you could wear this all year round for sure. So really, really enjoy this. Just very mouthwatering. The next uh, fragrance and the only designer one that I'm sharing with you today, it is called The Scent Private Accord for Her by Hugo Boss. Now, out of all the chocolate fragrances I have, honestly, I think this is my favorite. And the reason why is it's the most wearable. So there is chocolate in here, but there's also osmanthus. There's uh, some orange in here. So to me, it smells like milk chocolate that's been kind of grated, but super milky. And uh, you know, when it's grated and it just kind of sits on your tongue and melts, that's kind of the feel in this, but with that osmanthus and the orange, it gives it a slight kind of by Terry's chocolate orange feel. So there's definitely that hit of orange. I find this more, one more palatable than Chocolate Greedy by Montal, which also has that chocolate orange feel. Uh, the problem with that one is that it's a bit too much. And for me, if I like chocolate, but I don't like bam in your face chocolate. So this one is gorgeous. The mister on this one, like look at this. Like it's so beautiful. It's falling. It's falling all over me. Yeah, it's such a gorgeous fragrance. This also has tonka and coffee in it. Um, somehow it just smells quite beautiful. It feels uh, airy and not super cloying. So really enjoy wearing this one. It doesn't last long, but I love wearing it to bed. So basically I've worn this to bed now for uh, like the past couple of months because I just love this chocolate fragrance. It smells great, but it's not overpowering at all. Uh, love it whenever I want to feel comforted, like through the day, if I'm going to go watch a movie or something like that. 
um, this is the fragrance that I would put on because it's just cozy and wonderful. So love this fragrance. The next fragrance that I literally can't get enough of, it's perfect for this time of year, and it is Cahila Lux by Paris Corner. Uh, so I've talked about this one recently. It's one of my new ones, but I literally can't stop wearing it. This is spicy. It's warm. It's a little bit boozy. Uh, it smells very similar to Amber Invite Only by Kay Alley. So if you like that one, but didn't want to pay the price, this one is fantastic. I think it's about $45, uh, but long lasting, projects amazing. You get that spicy cinnamon tobacco booziness. So really, really beautiful. The only thing is, is I don't feel like this has any cherry in it at all. So uh, invite, Amber Invite only has cherry. This one, you're just getting the boozy spiciness. But seriously, I am addicted to this. Like it is so, so yummy. It's alluring. It smells opulent. So it's a great price uh, for being such an opulent, amazing fragrance. And personally, I like the bottle. I like this crazy horse. I like everything about this fragrance. It's awesome. One that I'm gonna rock today for Christmas Eve is Baroque Satin Oud by my Maison Alhambra. Now this is supposed to be inspired by Oud Satin Mood by MFK. Um, gorgeous kind of rose oud. Along with the rose and the oud, there's a little bit of violet in this. And what it does is it just kind of makes it feel super soft and velvety. There's some jamminess in here. Um, someone said that there may be pear in this. Um, I haven't been able to find the actual notes on this particular fragrance, uh, but it definitely feels like there's some fruitiness or some jamminess in the top. Um, is it an exact dupe? I don't think so. I, I, it's very rare that I've ever smelt something that I think smells exactly like the original. Uh, but this one is just amazing. I love it. Uh, the longevity for me has been really excellent, especially on clothes. The longevity will improve too. Uh, what I find with these Middle Eastern fragrances is it takes about a month and then it seems to reach its full potency somehow. So it could be wrong, but it's half decent. Like you get about five, six hours out of it. Um, I love this fragrance. I love smelling it. I find it calming, but it is so opulent and sophisticated and elegant. So it is absolutely perfect for an evening out. Love it. And the most affordable combo isn't fragrance at all. It is, well, it is fragrance, but it's Bath and Body Works. I am so in love with this Jolly Gingerbread Village. I don't know if you can still get it, but if you can get to a Bath and Body Works, you really need to sniff it because it's really, really decent. It's got golden gingerbread, vanilla icicles, and yuletide timber. I don't really get any of the timber aspect. What I get is kind of a gingerbread cookie. It's not super gingery, but there is enough ginger in there that it kind of satiates uh, my ginger, my my desire for gingerbread right now. So really enjoy this combo. Of course, with the lotion, it lasts longer. So I love this. What about you? Have you tried this? If so, what do you think of it? Like I love Jo, jo Malone Ginger Biscuit, but it is so pricey. Um, so I haven't bought it, uh, but this, this kind of satiates. Really, how long do you wanna wear ginger for? For me, kind of quite a while because I love ginger. Um, another one, another ginger fragrance that I absolutely love that I actually want to get at some point is Five O'Clock Gingembre. I think that's what it's called by Serge Luton. So it's like a, a tea fragrance with ginger and I just love it. These are the five fragrances that I cannot stop sniffing. I am absolutely in love with them. I would say out of all of them, this is the one that I am uh, most enamored with. It's just so phenomenal. I just love just how opulent and delicious it smells. Yes, it's similar to lots of the rose oud fragrances, but this one's a lot softer feeling because of that violet. It doesn't, it, it, I guess it does feel a little bit powdery, but so beautiful. But honestly, you can't go wrong with any of these. They're just all fantastic. What about you? What can you just not stop sniffing right now? Please leave it in the comments. I want to say cheers to you guys. I have some eggnog here. Eggnog. Eggnog is one of my favorite treats at Christmas time. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing Christmas. Whatever you're doing, make sure to take time 
to be in the present, to enjoy the lights on the Christmas tree, to enjoy your family and friends, uh, to enjoy yourself, uh, to appreciate all that we have. We have so much and I'm so thankful for it. I'm so thankful for you guys. You are such a blessing. Have an absolute Merry Christmas and we'll talk to you soon. I can't stop, I can't stop stepping, I can't stop, I can't stop stepping, I can't stop, I can't stop stepping you. <laughs> Merry Christmas.